Good morning and welcome to this special headlines today broadcast live from the city of Vadodara, the cultural capital of Gujarat. Just about a couple of hours from now, the BJP's Prime Ministerial nominee, Narendra Modi, the Chief Minister of Gujarat, the state I'm in right now, will be arriving right here to file his nomination at the district collectorate that's right behind me. There's going to be a massive rally, a show of strength and a clarion call for Narendra Modi. Remember, Vadodara is one of two constituencies that he will be fighting from. The other, of course, is Varanasi. It's an elaborate arrangement that the BJP has laid out for their prime ministerial nominee and their frontman. And we here on Headlines today, over the next few hours, are going to provide you the most up-close, most incisive live coverage of the nomination process. That's already looking like a victory rally. Many people say there's no second guesses as far as Vadodara is concerned. Let's lay it all, all out for you. We've got reporters all along the victory rally route, right from the Kirti's thumb in Vadodara, right to the district collectorate. It's a rally route that Narendra Modi will be taking. My colleague Aditi Anantanaranan is at the Kirti Stump and she sent us this short report about the preparations there to welcome Narendra Modi. We are right now in Vadodara where BJP's Prime Ministerial candidate Narendra Modi will be filing his nomination. In fact, before going to the collectorate's office, Narendra Modi plans to go on a road show for the next four kilometers. We are standing at Kirti's Thumb, which is the first place from where Narendra Modi will be starting his road show in an open jeep. In fact, as expected, there is a strict police cover in this entire area. In fact, what we're getting to know that it's a four-kilometer stretch and more than 2,000 personnel of the Gujarat police have been deployed here, apart from the local civil police here. A special task force has also been brought into place to ensure that Narendra Modi's roadshow goes on smoothly. Now, this is the first time that Narendra Modi will be filing his nomination from the two seats that he's got, one in Madodra in Gujarat and the other in Uttar Pradesh, Varanasi. And out of the five proposers that Narendra Modi has this time, one of the proposers is a local Chaiwala, clearly taking Narendra Modi's Chaiwala personality to the next level. Now, the BJP is very confident that Vadodra constituency will be a clean sweep for Narendra Modi as this has been a BJP stronghold for the past four elections. And clearly, that's the prime reason why the BJP top brass felt that Narendra Modi will be the apt candidate from this constituency and he could win not only from this constituency but he could also win from a huge margin this time in the 2014 Lok Sabha polls. With camera person Sanjeev Kumar, this is Aditya Nath Naranan for Headlines Today. The sitting member of parliament from uh, Vadodara is a BJP man who has won by the largest margin from this constituency in history. That's a record that Narendra Modi is actually seeking to break. I landed in Vadodara earlier this morning and on the route from the airport, the short drive till the district collectorate, there were loudspeakers all along the way, heavy security and all of those loudspeakers blaring music in praise of Narendra Modi, a man who will be here in just less than two hours to file his nomination. Vadodara is the second constituency that he's filed his nomination from. There's a huge emotional connect. It's like no other place. It's like no other battle. For many people, there isn't even any real suspense as far as the outcome in this electoral constituency is concerned. Let's get you a full report on Delhi via Vadodara. Narendra Modi is all set to take the first step to enter the Lok Sabha. The BJP's Prime Ministerial candidate will file his nomination papers from the Vadodara Lok Sabha constituency today. Modi, who is busy crisscrossing the country, will arrive in Vadodara today to file his nomination papers. The BJP's star leader is also contesting from the Varanasi seat of the politically significant state of Uttar Pradesh, which sends 80 members to the Lok Sabha. Aam Admi Party leader Arvind Kejriwal is challenging Modi in Varanasi. Clearly, it is Narendra Modi who has become the focus of the general elections this time. मुझे जो दायित्व देश की जनता देगी, उसको पूरा करने में, परिश्रम करने में, मैं कभी भी कमी नहीं रखूँगा. Modi will move to the district collectorate office for filing his nomination papers in Vadodara today after holding a road show. 
Modi's roadshow called Vijay Vikas Rally will move through some sensitive parts of the city under a strict security cover. The roadshow will start from Kirti Stam and move through Khande Rao Market, Nyay Mandir, Padmavati Shopping Centre and Rao Pura before culminating at the collector's office. At about 11 am, Modi is expected to file his nomination papers before leaving for the party's campaign in Maharashtra. The BJP's prime ministerial candidate is up against Congress candidate Madhusudan Mistri from the constituency. On the other hand, the Aam Aadmi Party leader has fielded 41-year-old mechanical engineer Sunil Digambar Kulkarni as its candidate. Many say that Modi's victory in Vadodara is a foregone conclusion as the seat is considered a BJP stronghold. By contesting from a city in Gujarat, Modi wants to drive momentum in other areas where the party is not as strong. Also by contesting from Gujarat, Congress during its campaign in the state could have accused Modi of abandoning the state. Bureau report headlines today. For many people there isn't really very much suspense as far as Vadodara is concerned. It's Narendra Modi from the BJP, it's uh, Sunil Digambar Kulkarni from the Aam Aadmi Party and it's Madhusudan Mistri from the Congress, both belated uh, candidates who were declared by the Congress. Uh, in many ways the person who is in charge, the guardian of the entire operation in Vadodara, the garden of this guardian of the seat has said that the city will be painted saffron to welcome Narendra Modi. Not much suspense if you actually look at the mood on the ground. We're going to ask our guests and our experts in just a bit about whether there really is a saffron wave. But I just want to quickly take our viewers through where I'm standing right now. Right behind me where you can see a big posse of cameras is actually the district collectorate of Vadodara. It's inside there that Narendra Modi will be walking just under two hours from now to file his nomination. A huge media presence already at the district collectorate. As you can see, there's a big amount of security already, uh, also uh, for uh, Narendra Modi's arrival. And in just a short uh, while from now, we'll also get you pictures from outside the district collectorate where there's also unprecedented security. The road has uh, completely been cordoned off. But I want to go across to get you a sense of what's happening outside the district collectorate where, like I said, the security is even larger. Uh, the Kirti Stump specifically, uh, where headlines today is Aditi Anantanaran is uh, uh, standing there right now. She's reporting from there. Uh, Aditi, uh, is all, it's all set for Narendra Modi's arrival. Uh, what's the latest from where you are reporting from right now? Absolutely, Shivak. There's a huge crowd which is gathered here. It is not only the BJP workers who have come here, also supporters from various walks of life have come here, from religious backgrounds, from the minority community. A lot of people have come here. In fact, Narendra Modi is expected to arrive here at about 9.30 today. And uh, from here, from the Kirti Stam, he is going to travel for about 4 kilometers on an, in an open jeep where he will be meeting various people on the way. He will be meeting the BJP workers before finally arriving at the district electorate's office at about 10.30 a.m. So a huge crowd here. There, is, there are a lot of dancers, there are a lot of cultural activities which have been planned for Narendra Modi. So the wait is been, from morning itself, Shay, from 7 a.m. people have been gathering here just to get a glimpse of the BJP's prime ministerial candidate. And definitely when you talk about the saffron wave, at least the Kirti Stam has been painted saffron where the people are just chanting one slogan that Narendra Modi will become the Prime Minister Narendra Modi will win from the Vadodara constituency shift. Well, we could barely hear you, Aditi, but we could just get just about get your message with all those uh, songs playing in the background. Uh, it's it's relatively calm here at the district collectorate. Obviously, uh, this is a government office, but uh, uh, that gives you a sense from where Aditi is standing right now. That gives you a real sense, uh, you know, of the mood, of the fervor, uh, you know, of the kind of turnout uh, that's uh, that's being seen in those areas and all along that rally route where we will be getting you uh, live coverage. I want to introduce our guests for this morning uh, who are going to help us, uh, you know, bring us the best perspective uh, on this very day. I've got with us um, Nalini Singh, senior journalist, who's with us in our headlines today studio in Delhi, and also uh, BJP leader Shaina Ensi, who joins me this morning uh, from Mumbai, Shaina. Uh, if I could come to you first, I mean, there's a lot to talk about today. Vadodara is a special place. Uh, you know, it's, a, it's, it's, it's got a massive emotional connect with their chief minister, Narendra Modi. But there's a question, Shaina, uh, on a lot of people's minds. 
because Vadodara isn't the only place that Mr. Modi is contesting from. So, which is it going to be if he wins both? Well, that's a call that only Mr. Modi and the parliamentary board can take, so I can't speak on behalf. But I can tell you that there is going to be a thunderous victory in both places. And one needs to understand that Varudra uh, is uh, not just welcoming its own hero, but I think it's also the sentiment that uh, somebody from the home state is uh, on his way or on his route to become Prime Minister of this country. I think that uh, to see this kind of public that is present there and the clippings that one has been seeing yeah. since morning only show you that the cadre is absolutely elated and uh, absolutely supportive of his candidature from Varodhra. Nalini, uh, you know, Shaina is right. There's a, there's a sense of fervor, there's a sense of elation, uh, you know, that cannot be missed in the air here uh, in Vadodara. Uh, you know, given that there's not very much political suspense, electoral suspense, uh, as far as the outcome is concerned from here in Vadodara, uh, Nalini, what to you are the big takeaways or the big things to look out for as far as the, the Vadodara election is concerned? Do you know, um, I think, uh, Shiv, uh, what is extraordinary is that actually today, uh, two people who have been associated with the RSS are fighting this election. Um, Narendra Modi, of course, yes. has always said that he was uh, in the RSS, but Madhusudan Mistri also, I believe, was close to the RSS. So, in fact, uh, this is one. And therefore, you can, uh, you, you know, uh, both these people are energetic. But I must say that uh, energy is one thing, but uh, the the uh, desire of uh, large sections of a country for the, this country is now hungry for a leader. And I think that today's uh, fervor that you see in Vadodara. Uh, is actually uh, maybe it's more effusive over there but there is an underlying whenever we, we 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 have looked at other states there is an underlying hunger for a leader who that leader is going to be uh, the bjp uh, etc uh, the U the nda obviously thinks it's uh, narendra modi and uh, the upa you know i'm not sure that uh, they are saying that there's going to be a b c d so my takeaway from today is that yeah. this is um, a, a, you know this is also something that we have to celebrate because there is a person from an underprivileged background who is actually today filing a nomination at uh, from um, a seat where a tea vendor is yes. going to uh, be part uh, a witness to the nomination um, a signatory in, in fact i wanted to tell our viewers about that you know speaking of an underprivileged background the, among the, the four proposers uh, you know for this nomination uh, there is a person called Kiran Mahida who is a BJP worker who's been in the BJP for 25 years. He's also a tea vendor from an underprivileged background, uh, you know, who's been with the party for at least 25 years. And he's been handpicked, uh, Nalini, as one of the proposers, uh, you know, for uh, Narendra Modi's nomination. He's going to be here in a short while. We'll be speaking to him as well. But we actually spoke to him yesterday. He's been beaming with pride. He's been, you know, he's been ambushed uh, by news crews all of the last 48 hours, uh, you know, asking what he, you know, what he thinks about being handpicked by the BJP leadership for what he says is a very prestigious and honorable task. Here's what uh, Kiran Mahida, the, 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 the chai wala, the tea vendor, uh, told us. I feeling very good feeling. I have a name of I have a I have a name of I have a name of I have a name of I have a Well, there's a huge amount of fervor, like uh, Nalini Singh was just pointing out. Uh, and, uh, you know, in just a short while from now, we'll also be getting you live pictures when Narendra Modi arrives at the Kirti Stamb uh, in Vadodara. I want to go across live to Aditi Anantanaran, my colleague who's at the Kirti Stamb uh, and who's been reporting from there on all the preparations. Uh, Aditi, just, just show us the color and the sounds around you. We could barely hear you uh, the last time. Uh, and that's an indication of just how things really are. Take it away, Aditi. Show us what's around you right now in preparation for Narendra Modi. In fact, Shiv, since morning 7 a.m., a huge crowd has gathered around. And if I can ask my camera person,
into pan just to show you what this place Kirti Sam actually looks like. There are just saffron flags around this place. In fact, there's a strict police cover also which has been deployed here. However, despite that, a lot of people have managed to gather here. There are a lot of dancers and a lot of cultural activities which have been planned for Narendra Modi. In fact, Narendra Modi is expected to arrive at around 9.30. There is an open jeep which has been placed here, Shame. Now, that is the jeep in which Narendra Modi will be travelling for the next kilometres. Clearly, the people out here are super excited. They are just waiting to get a glimpse of BJP's candidate, Narendra Modi. In fact, the sense that we are getting from here is, uh, Shame, that the people believe that Narendra Modi has not only developed one particular constituency of Gujarat, but he has also managed to develop the entire Gujarat. He has not only worked for the upliftment of the Hindus, but he has also worked for the upliftment of all communities in Gujarat. And definitely that is why the people out here feel that Narendra Modi will not only win from the Vadoda constituency, but Narendra Modi will also become the Prime Minister of the country because of the support from the people out here. Clearly a lot of excitement here, a lot of pomp and show here, and the only wait is for Narendra Modi who is expected to arrive here within the next few minutes, Shiv. And also, Aditi, there's a huge amount of security, isn't there? We've seen security all across Vadodara today. Even here at the district, uh, you know, uh, collectorate, there's a huge amount of security, uh, you know, in preparation for Narendra Modi's arrival. He's going to be here for only a couple of hours. He's going to file his nomination and then he's going to be head to continue his campaign in Maharashtra. Take us through the security arrangements that you've seen around Vadodara, Aditi. In fact, what we're getting to know, Shiv, that about 2,000 to 3,000 uh, police uh, police personnel from the Gujarat police have been deployed on this stretch of four kilometers where Narendra Modi will be traveling for his roadshow. Apart from that, a special task force has also been called in to ward off people to keep people away from Narendra Modi's convoy. Apart from the special task force and the Gujarat police, there's also the civil police who has come here in large numbers. Clearly, the four kilometer stretch where Narendra Modi Well, it's a very elaborate, it's a very elaborate arrangement that the BJP workers in Vadodara have made. Uh, lots of moving parts. It's going to be an open jeep for the first time. Thousands of people are going to be out there on the streets. You know, shops have been encouraged, uh, you know, to festoon the, the, their front. So everything looks, uh, you know, like it is in a celebratory atmosphere to welcome Narendra Modi to a city with which he has a very strong emotional connect. Uh, you know, there's a, it's the cultural capital of Gujarat as well. Just over 10 minutes from now is when Narendra Modi will be reaching the Kirti Stump from where he will start that rally to the place where I'm standing at, the district collectorate in Vadodara. We still have Nalini Singh, Shaina MC and all our reporters all across the rally path here in Vadodara, Gujarat, where Narendra Modi in just under an hour from now will be filing his nomination. I want to give you a sense of where I'm standing right now. As you can see, there's a great deal of security that's already been deployed in this particular place. This place where I'm standing is the district collectorate. Lots of journalists, lots of camera crew and lots of police personnel on security duty. Narendra Modi will be coming from right behind there. There will be a massive security convoy that will be traveling many kilometers from the Kirti Stamb. It's a rally of sorts. It's going to be in an open jeep and thousands of people will be lining the entire route along the rally path from the Kirti Stamb to where I'm standing right now in the district collectorate. Now the process for the nomination will involve four for proposers for the nomination. It's a formal and a ceremonial action. And one among those four persons who will actually propose the nomination for Narendra Modi is actually a Chaiwala. To underscore the entire underprivileged background of Narendra Modi himself and the attacks he's been under by people like Mani Shankar Ayer and others, one person is Kiran Mahida, who's a Chaiwala, a tea vendor from the Khande Rao market in Vadodara. He's a person who's drawn a huge amount of interest in the last 48 hours. He spoke to us yesterday.
तो मेरे को बहुत खुशी हुई है और जीवन में किसको बता नहीं सकता इतनी खुशी है मेरी नहीं एपा ऐसा तो कभी जिंदगी में नहीं सोचा गया मेरा नाम इतने फलक पे आ गया आएगा I want to go across to Nalini Singh. She's uh, she's a senior journalist and she's with us in the headlines today studio. Uh, you know, Nalini, all across the route that we've seen here, and especially during the the poster wars that we saw, uh, you know, between the Congress and the BJP, between Narendra Modi supporters and uh, you know Madhusudan Misri of the Congress, uh, there were posters that said "Vadodara ki awaz, Desh ki awaz." Is that, in a sense, uh, you know, a, 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 a sort of sneak preview into what appears to be a decision that the BJP or Narendra Modi has already made when he'll be asked to choose between Vadodara and Varanasi? Shiv, I'm so sorry. I uh, could not understand what you're saying because I have a double echo. Um, but I think that you are talking, uh, uh, Shiv. If um, I think I heard you say something about Varanasi and Vadodara, I think except for the yes, that's right. I'm sorry, I have uh, a huge echo issue. Maybe you can come back to me just once this is sorted out. Thank you, uh, Shiv. Yeah. Nalini, I'll come back to you in just a moment. We're going to try and sort out that audio link in just a bit. Uh, I want to put that same question in that case to to Shaina NC. Uh, you know, Shaina, all through, uh, and, you, and I'm sure you've seen those pictures on television as well, all through Vadodara, you know, especially during the poster war, there were posters of Narendra Modi looking off into the distance, and it said, Vadodara ki awaz, desh ki awaz. So, you know, you know, you dodged a question I asked you earlier. You said, you know, the leadership of the BJP, you know, the parliamentary committee and Narendra Modi himself would take that decision. But Vadodara ki awaz, desh ki awaz, is that in a sense an indication that a decision has already been made? I think that that's, um, uh, in the time of election, there are bound to be slogans and counter slogans, etc. But I think the biggest thing that uh, the people of Gujarat would feel with a sense of pride is that here is our man, a common man who has been able to work and base surely on performance, has risen in the cadre, not just in the party, but with the public as well, and is uh, going to be their uncrowned hero at a time when political, um, you know, uh, uh, situations are such that every single person is pitching him or herself as the best contender. But the public has clearly decided that the clear hero is Narendra Modi. Having said that, I also think that there is going to be a sense of pride from Gujarat that he belongs to the home state. But at the same time, to view him uh, as a limited Gujarati leader is now history because the acceptability of Narendra Modi in Uttar Pradesh, in Bihar, in various, even in the south, in Kerala, etc., is something which is a phenomenal experience okay. and just shows you that only in a party like Bharatiya Janata Party can somebody who comes from a very humble beginning uh, rise to this level and actually be an aspirational story for every Indian. Well, Gujarati pride, heroism, uh, you know, are going to be uh, metaphors uh, and motives that will be seen a plenty over the next couple of hours. Like I said, it isn't just about a cavalcade driving down to the Vadodara district collectorate and, uh, you know, a filing of a nomination. It's going to be much more ceremonial than that. The BJP has gone into very painstaking event management. Another phrase that was used recently uh, by LK Advani, perhaps as a barb uh, at Narendra Modi, but that event management, uh, you know, talent is going to be on full display definitely over the next couple of hours we understand that at about 10:50 between 10:50 and 11 is when narendra modi will be filing his nomination uh, the in charge op mathur of the bjp will also be with him when he arrives in vadodara we're going to have non stop live coverage right from kirti stamb on the rally route right till the district collectorate here in vadodara